day 15 of quarantine. Haha. Uh -huh. At least I still have you, Horsey. You know, my good friend, Horsey. I'm, I'm normal. I'm fine. I'm fine. Wait, Horsey, what was that? What do you... That's not a very nice thing to say. I'm not, I'm not going crazy, right? I'm not... Uh, at least you're my friend, Jeff. At least we still have each other. <laughs> right? I'm not going crazy, right? And this video shout out is coming from... YouTube. Thank you to this person, you're an absolute legend. G'day guys, my name is Wadzi and welcome back to episode 11 of Hardcore Minecraft. But I'd start the video off here because because as you can see, I've prettied up this wool farm. You know, I've made a bit of a hallway. It's looking quite nice. I like it quite a lot. Looking dope. But anyway, you guys know the drill. Brand new video. We have to go plant some more melons. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding uh, 200 melons every episode because 100 isn't enough. And while Wadzi of the past plants another 200 melons, I thought I'd do a little bit of Wadzi history for you guys. I've gotten an increased amount of laser beam comments since I've started doing this melon farm gimmick at the start of my videos. But what you guys clearly don't know is that I've already made a bigger melon farm than laser beam. In fact, the first popular video on my channel was this one here, making a bigger melon farm than laser beam. And since then, I took the crown as the melon king on YouTube and Melons have been my thing ever since. Boom. And just like that, we've added another 200 melons to our farm. I mean, at this stage, it's still pretty small, but you can see if we do this every episode, it's going to be quite big quite soon. All right, so first thing I actually want to do today is make a iron farm. And I've come back over to our villages here, and this area is still super laggy. I don't really know what's going on. Too many villages and stuff, I guess. Just too many villages. We're going to be taking some villages from here and moving them over a bit so we can have an iron farm close by to here. All right, so we've already kind of got a railway set up out here to move villages. So I thought I'll just go off from this and we'll go out this way. All right, team, I changed my mind. Instead of going out this way, I'm going to bring it in closer to our home. So if we're going to have an iron farm, we may as well have it somewhere where we're going to be majority of the time so that it can be working majority of the time. Another one of my concerns, though, however, is I think I saw somewhere that in the recent snapshots that iron farms are nerfed. So I may go through all of this effort, move all these villages, make this iron farm, and then it won't even work. But let's just hope that doesn't happen. So right now, I'm just going to make a railway which goes all the way to our home, hoping this really isn't that inconvenient for us. I'm hoping it works out with ease. Eventually. Alrighty, so I think I've decided I'm going to be putting my iron farm just out here somewhere, maybe around here. It is very far away from our village, so getting the rails to come all the way across here is going to be a lot of fun work. That's only half our issues right now. First issue is we got to start building this thing. So I'm going to clear out a bit of space, cut down a few trees here. Uh, so I should mention I was just here in the nether collecting some quartz just for some building blocks and um, we've got this new mob out here. I believe they're called striders and that's because they can just walk on lava. I don't know what their purpose is. I don't know what they drop, but th that's them. After being all over the place collecting all the items we needed, we were finally ready to start building this iron farm. The tutorial I will be following today is by Waddles and there will be a link to that in the description if you want to build this same iron farm in your world. Okay, so that marks the start of our farm here. Um, but the next step, we kind of actually have to wait for it to become nighttime because we need to trap a zombie in here. E target spotted. I don't know what this zombie's doing in my bee farm, but you will do. I right, just need to trap him in here. And now, just to put a name tag on him. All right. Large Bowl. And if you're wondering why I'm naming this zombie here Large Bowl, two episodes of Minecraft ago, Large Bowl got the first comment. So now this zombie will be forever remembered as Large Bowl. Alright, so they, those three things are going to be the chambers for our villagers. So that's going to be our next step here is getting those villagers over here. All right, so our current strategy to get villages right now is to make a giant railway. And let me just say, this is probably going to be very painful. I'm pretty sure I know like across this way, there's a cave where there is a abandoned mine shaft. So if we head down there, we should be able to go steal some of the rails from down there. Holy mobs. 
Oh, and they're all in the lag area. I really don't want to deal with this. Alright, time for me to get stealing. Oh, I swear, we better make it. Oh, we made it. Oh, good. Now we just have to push the bloody villagers all the way here. Alright, let's do this. Villager number one. Let's do this. Oh, it's so slow here. It's so slow. Uh oh. Alright, please, just give enough power. Just go. Just go up. Alright, we got over our first mountain. Now this thing's really just going by itself. Come on, villager, get up there. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Alright, that's one happy villager. Alright, villager number two. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get up there. Now it should be smooth sailing from here. Alright, and that's yet another villager in here. One more to go, which is should just be in here. Um, but before I think I get that third villager, because once I get that third villager, we're going to have the ability to start spawning iron golems. So before we do that, we probably want to build the rest of the iron farm first. just to place our lava right there all right so that's all the water placed here we can break all these blocks all right death defying jump right here all right now just to break a few more blocks and we will be one villager away from being done all right, here it is, the final villager. All right, and here we go. All righty, and this is our final villager. There is one more step, actually. So the last thing we actually have to do is come out across here and break these three blocks in order to give the villagers sight to our zombie large bowl here. Now the farm is fully functioning. All right, well now the waiting games really begin as we sit around here and we wait to see if any iron golems spawn. Oh my god, it actually worked. I don't know why, I was just so confident this was not going to work. Our first iron golem. Just like that, five iron and a poppy. Cool, sweet. We have an iron farm. I'm fairly certain with these farms, you can just go ahead and make another one connected to it or just another one to the side and double the rate in which you get iron. But for today, that's as far as we're going to go. Okay, yet another update, cause I just, I couldn't leave it how it was. I've made this thing look a lot more legit. All right, I've put them iron bars in there. They're reinforcing this entire structure. This thing looks like it could actually stand on its own. I think it looks sick. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think, but I like it. I like it quite a lot. All right, and the next thing we're going to be doing in this video is I'm actually going to be building another farm. Uh, this one's going to be a gunpowder farm, and I think I've decided I want to put it out this way as well somewhere. Maybe like a bit back here. Maybe we can make it like back here work. Yeah, around here will work. Just got to clear it out first. So for this second farm, I will be following a tutorial by a dude named Shulkercraft. I think this design is a bit more complicated than ones I've used in the past, but I liked it quite a lot, and again, there's another link in the description. Alright, so here's where we're at so far. We've got a few spawning platforms now, all set up correctly, I hope. Um, we could do more, but I think just for time's sake, I think I'm just going to stick with the, the bare minimum. Now we need to go and get a bunch of trapdoors, because we need to cover all these layers, the roofs of all these layers with trapdoors. 
Our next job is to make a bunch of trapdoors and then just place them literally everywhere. Alright, so I think that's one layer. Yeah, it looks all good. Um, now we just got to do the other four, so I'll be back once I'm done with that. Alright, so I've got all the spawning platforms with all the trapdoors placed, and let's just ignore those trapdoors there. I ran out of spruce. But cool, there's only one thing left for us to do, which is to build our roof. We're going to do out of slabs, so it's not a spawnable surface. I went and got a stone cutter for this, so you guys will not be mad at me for wasting blocks. Alright, now we've got the roof ready on this thing, which should make all these platforms dark enough to spawn mobs on at any time of the day. Uh, the next thing we need to do is actually go and add some water buckets. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this scaffolding now, as well as this scaffolding over here. Holy, it's working already. Okay, well, at least, at least we know this thing works. There we go. All right, and that hopper's gonna trans transport all our gunpowder. So now we've got this farm working and we've seen it work and we've already spawned some creepers with this thing, which is crazy to me. I'm just gonna do one last thing, which is just spam torches everywhere around here just so we can focus the spawning area onto our farm here. So supposedly the best place to AFK is like 120 blocks in the sky from here. Um, but as you can see, like when I'm just away from here just a little bit, it'll work still. It just won't be at its most efficient. But I'm going to AFK in the spot that we are told to AFK. See how good it really is up there. Alright, so here we are. 120 blocks in the sky, ridiculously high up. Going to build a bit of a platform up here. This is going to be our AFK platform. Whenever we want to AFK and just get a bunch of gunpowder. Alright, and that should be all we need to do. So I'm going to AFK for a literal hour. Alright, the hour is up. Alright, let's come down here and let's see how many drops we managed to get from AFKing for a whole hour. Oh my god! Oh, it's actually a lot more. I think that's a lot more than I expected to get. One, two, three, four, five. Six. We ended up getting 25 stacks of gunpowder from AFKing for a whole hour. Also, let's break this scaffolding. We don't need that there anymore. The sky is falling! Holy scaffold rain. Now with that done, we had managed to build two very effective farms in this episode. We now had infinite iron and infinite gunpowder, which is going to come very in handy for the future of this series. And again, make sure to comment what farms and creations I should make next. All right, so I figured um, the next thing we'll do since we have quite a lot of levels at the moment is go back to enchanting and I want to get the perfect enchantment on my armor finally. Um, so on the boots, we're looking for feather falling four as well as I think we're going to go with depth strata instead of frost walker. And on the helmet, we're after aqua or aqua affinity respiration three. In fact, funnily enough, we've got a book here for aqua affinity and we've also got a book for respiration three somewhere in here. So the helmet is done. We're just after feather falling on the boots and well there you go that was easy feather falling and the reason i've taken feather falling 2 is because we actually have feather falling 2 and feather falling 3 book here so combining all those together as long as i do it correctly geez it's loud in here i regret having my enchantment table next to a bloody zombie spawner i can't hear a thing now we're kind of just after um, depth strata if i can find that on a book or something Okay, well, we got Depth Strider on these diamond boots here. I figure if we just go ahead and enchant these and then go ahead, turn them into netherite, combine them, we may as well just do that. Let's finish off our helmet here. So let's add Aqua or Aqua Affinity. That is expensive. Wow, these are expensive enchantments to add. 37 levels. In fact, maybe I should go... Yeah, I'm going to go in the nether and go search for some ancient debris. We only need one more ancient debris and we can get ourselves the netherite we'll need to make these boots into netherite. We're back to do some strip mining in the nether. Hopefully we can find ourselves some ancient debris. Finally, oh my, that took a long time. At least it felt like it took a long time. One more bit of ancient debris. Now we can go home, smelt it up, and make these boots. 
Alright, and there we are. That's another bit of netherite scrap. It's another netherite ingot. And I actually need to make myself a smithing table. I can just go there, I guess. Cool. We have another set of netherite boots. Now we just need to find, somehow find the levels to combine all these items. I think most importantly, we should probably at least put feather falling on our boots. Like it's probably going to be the most important enchantment we want. So we go feather falling four. Please don't be too expensive. Please be less than 17 levels. All right. We broke another anvil, but there we go. We have feather falling four boots now. I'm actually curious to know how much our good feather falling four is for us. So I was thinking I'll go to a place that I definitely know I won't die from. Like this, this is a far drop, but I know I won't die from it, right? Anyway, let's see how much damage we take from a fall like this with feather falling four. <laughs> One heart. That's crazy, dude. That's like a pretty decent fall. Cool. Well, good to know. And I think to finish off this video, I'll leave you guys with this. So Jeff is still very much glitched out. So I thought we better go and get a new dog. So I flew around trying to find a dog when I finally did. And it was mine with just one bone. So I quickly ran all the way home and was so excited to name them. I just want to say that you guys win, all right? Dogsy. Jeff will forever be in my heart, but we needed to get a new dog, and that's Dogsy. And with that, I'd just like to thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and also thank you guys so much for 300,000 subscribers. I appreciate that so much. It doesn't really make sense to me that we are still growing this fast, but regardless, I'll catch you all in the next episode. Cheers. What was that? You've just finished watching the video and you don't know what to watch anymore. Well, why not head over to my second channel, Wadtui, where I post wacky vlogs and stuff and awesome videos. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just self-promoting, that's all. Hope you enjoyed the video.